Sanda, the sparring aspect of the Punchuk Sea okay. Lock competition. Yep. You fucking, you fucking bleed. You fucking punk. Oh. Is it's performed. called what? Sponda? Sanda. Sanda? Sanda. Sparring. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's performed on a late. Which oh, is, a late? A late. I don't know what that is. It's a traditional elevated fighting arena Ooh. with no rails. It's pretty much like an elevated table. Yeah, so you get knocked off that shit. Oh. 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 You lose by surrendering, incap- incapacitation, or you're thrown slash forced from the stage. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wow. And this also then that's that that carries over. That's also a thing in Wushu. If you really? watch Oh yeah, no, if you want like Wushu. I I have I don't know anything. I don't even know what Wushu is. Well that's because but you're saying it's kung fu, basically. It, it is it's a it's a style, it's a variation. Of martial arts. Yes. Basketball. Yes. Would you say that quick kick was Yes, fluent in wushu. I would say I would say with with eighty five percent confidence that <laughs> you can. If we were going to if we were to go to Quick Kicks file card, wushu would be somewhere on there. And Quick Kick is a GI Joe guy, shirtless, and his yep. first appearance in the cartoon, he's completely shirtless in the Arctic, and, and, and they never explain why. And barefoot, and they never explain like, hey, you're. Nobody ever says like, no, aren't want you a jacket? Fucking cold? Like, yeah, need some you shoes. A you want a jacket? Well, Gung Ho is all, also wearing his vest. Oh, yeah, no, I was in his like, like uh, gay party marine outfit that he wears. Like, hey, he's totally a village people. He is character. Dude, have you have you checked out Venture Brothers? No, was I supposed to? You told me to, didn't you? I, I tell everyone to, but no, there's like, you should just you should just type in Shore Leave Venture Brothers. He's probably the greatest gay character in animation. Um, yes, Queen Skinny Legend Versace boots the house down. Slay Queen, Hunty Mama, and Oop Daddy work. Charlie X, yes, snatch my way. Anyway, I, I'll watch the Venture Brothers. I'm going to start watching the Venture Brothers. I got to catch oh, up on Rick and Morty season five. Came oh, out. I, I only I only saw the first episode of Rick and Morty season five. Not because I don't I don't have I. Yeah. Have you seen the first four seasons of Rick and Morty? Yeah, I have the first four seasons on DVD. <laughs> yeah. Street right. cred, bro. Well, it was just one of those things like that. Like I saw Rick and Morty and I was like immediately offended by it because I was like, it's going to fuck. It's going to shit on everything I love. And then I watched five minutes of it. and I fell in love with it going, it's shitting on everything uh, so... I love. <laughs> Morty. <laughs> well, oh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, so I, yeah. I stopped <laughs> watching it going because I'm not going to be able to watch it and not get obsessed with it. Yeah, I um, have to watch them. Um, I need to watch them. Um, each episode probably oh, eight God, times yeah. to get I, it all, like oh, dude, to understand I mean, it all. That's what's beautiful about. But it. it's so smart and so oh, funny God. and so crass at the same time. That's what I love about stuff like Dan Harmon can prove like you can be super smart and still super crass and super hilarious. Yeah, all those things are not mutually exclusive. Hi, I'm Mr. Poopy Butthole from episode two hundred four. There's not a lot of people like that, but there must be because a lot of people love Rick and Morty. Well, yeah, um, but there's, there's not a lot of people that can pull it off. There's a lot of people that want to pull it off. Yeah. But there's not a lot of people that can pull it off. There's, and it just makes me happy that so many people can appreciate it, though. Yeah. Yo. Remember we saw Dan Harmon's podcast? I do. Live? I, do that. I, I was so upset and so happy about it. You're upset and happy? Oh, yeah. Why were you upset? Because it was so wonderful and beautiful, <laughs> it was like it, it's like when you see you're too parent, beautiful for you. Well, yeah, no, it's it's like you're a parent and you see a baby that you, you just want to eat it. You know that whole it's like, oh, it smells so good. I just going to shove it in my mouth. You hear parents say that shit. Hey, when when we went to that New York festival and you stayed in my hotel room, like, did mm. we did we both just sleep in the same bed? Yeah. 
How do we fit in that tiny? That be- was it a big bed? Yeah, dude, it was a king size bed. Oh, it was a king size bed, so we had plenty of room. I just yeah. remember, like, suddenly I'm thinking back, like, the room was the size of the room was the size of a king size bed. Yeah, it was like tiny. It was a king size bed. <laughs> I do remember, like, opening the door, and be like, oh, this isn't going to work out well. Oh, uh, no, one it's... bed, but it was fine. We both had plenty of room. I mean, it was like a king bed. You have a mile before yeah. you know, one of us slept like in the window still. Yeah. Kinda. Like we, yeah. we 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 slept under our own blankets. But that's where the Jimmy Dean sketch was born. Exactly. But that, that's what made me think of that is because the Jimmy Dean sketch, after I wrote it and kind of made a cartoon of it, I realized oh, it was basically just like a mild Rick and Morty. You know, it's like it's not anything that's outside the realm of Rick and Morty. So anybody that sees it be like, oh, that's just like a Rick and Morty type thing. Well, but no, Rick and Morty's already done well. We don't need that. Well, that's, 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 I think you're missing the beauty of the maybe. Jimmy Dean thing. Yeah, I think, uh, maybe, I don't know. The beauty and the pain of Rick and Morty is that it has so much shit. It's, it of its, its mere existence is making fun of the Simpsons did it joke on South Park. Oh my God, Morty, what did you do? You killed the oh Simpsons, God, yeah. Morty. No. Yeah. Because that's all that. That's the, that's exactly what we're talking about right now. Right. But and we're Rick just and Morty's saying Ricky everything. Morty did it. Yeah. No, that's every and the, anything the, science or funny. Well, see, Rick and, and, that, Morty's already done. and the reason why that's funny is that we can argue that going back to before people wrote shit down. Yeah, that's true. No, I don't believe the same stories, but I do believe on variations of a theme. That's yeah. all. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's all your very yeah. That's what they say in stand-up comedy class when you take it. They're like everything you think of, somebody's done a bit on everything, but it's yep. how you tell it. Yep. It's how it's, it's your, your perspective on it. It's your so story. everybody's done the driving or the airplane yeah, on an airplane, whoa, whoa. but it's your perspective. Like tell it from yeah. your perspective, which is not always easy to do because when mm-hmm. you're wanting to get on stage, you're trying to think of what are you these people are gonna like yeah what are you what, guys gonna think is funny and it, it's so hard to think of what i'm not telling that as me I'm, I'm wanting to know what you like what do you, do you like this do you like this but no you got to tell it like what i like yeah and if it doesn't it, work it, then people it doesn't work. you having fun more than yeah. you wanting them to have fun yeah, yeah if you're having fun on stage they will be with you probably unless you're yeah. just totally a sadistic weirdo that has fun shitting on the stage and wiping the shit all over your face. I mean, that, that people, might not be good. There's probably an audience for that. Carlos Summer here.